What's going on guys? So week 17 and 18 update. I'm pretty sure you guys noticed I got a haircut uh, trimmed up and cleaned up my beard and mustache. I think my barber did a good job at blending it in, making it look a little bit more fuller. Uh, making it look a little bit more uniform. So yeah, big ups to Pat from with Barbers. We didn't go too short because I got a wedding to go to in two weeks. We were thinking that my patches may be more visible so we just trimmed off a little bit off of it i got another cleanup uh, in two weeks before the wedding he left my mustache pretty long because my connectors you could see see right here my connectors are not in yet so we left the stashes the stash pretty long still also i could still rock this handlebar mustache i'm gonna go ahead and try to find uh before and after pictures um look for a week or a day where my hair my facial hair is this long try to compare it my side effects are still the same just beard drop and dry skin i did notice some long uh nose hairs but i'm pretty sure i'm not sure if it's from minoxidil or not but because i i haven't trimmed up my hair my facial hair for four and a half months so I guess that was just growing in with my mustache. I did have some dark circles around my eyes, um, but I think that was just from lack of sleep, lack of rest with this uh, weight loss competition that I'm in. A lot of people have been saying that they, they've been having headaches. I personally have not had any headaches, but I did read that um, if you are having he headaches or any, any side effects just to go ahead and uh, apply 0.5 milliliters uh, from the dropper instead of uh, of the one milliliter so your body and your face can get used to it again that's what I'm reading I'm not a doctor or a physician everybody's body is different I'm I'm guessing just my body's reacting to minoxidil pretty good I decided I'm not gonna switch to the foam minoxidil I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the liquid minoxidil. I hear that foam is, the foam minoxidil is more convenient, dries faster, and it gives less side effects. But um, I'm going for the more cheaper route, you know, the more, more bang for your buck. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the liquid form. Here's a little review for the two mustache waxes that I've been using for, since I got it. First one is a uh, boss man mustache. Ooh, can you see that? Um, it's water soluble. It has a pretty good hold. It looks like a clay consistency. Pretty much, I just get a little bit off of it right here on my fingernail, and I just rub it between my hands, my fingers, then just your mustache to hang that's how I do it with that it has a pretty good hold um, it's a little tacky but if you if you put way too much when I had uh, my when my mustache was longer I was applying a lot but now I'm just really applying it to the ends of my mustache then I go ahead and just grab my brush and just brush it through just make sure it's fine and then just brush everything down so it looks good the other mustache wax that I use is um that I've been using is live bearded mustache wax pretty much I was going and just using it like a chapstick I'm, I hear that you're supposed to take it off on your fingernail too but it's in it it looks like it's in a chapstick chapstick container so that's how I've been using it. And I've just been using it as a touch up at work so it doesn't, so my butt mustache doesn't fall. But yeah, other than that, it works pretty well too. The strong, the hold is not as strong as the mud stash wax, mud stash, mud stash training wax, but it gets the job done. It, it helps keep its shape. Um, if I am applying it wrong, let me know in the comments, um, all you mustache people out there, 
my mustache keeps falling after a while so uh, again this is my first mustache I'm not sure how to apply mustache wax or everything I'm just watching on YouTube but any pointers tips uh, leave it in the comments below help me out this simply vanilla uh, mustache wax that I also got it uh I used it only once it smells really good but I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and try to run through these two really quick and then go ahead and start using that so being the person that I am I kind of went overboard ordering a uh, mustache wax I bought this Kingsman Kingsman's mustache wax or Kingsman's beard product mustache wax comes in a dope ass box um, I got two of them one is called Holy Grail and the other one is Kings Court haven't used them yet now I got five mustache wax and I don't think I'm gonna run through it all that quickly I totally forgot that I ordered these two so yeah I ordered these two the day after I ordered the other ones so um, I was watching beer tube and and he had um, a discount code it was a pretty good code I think they were $15 originally but I got it for $8 each or $7 each one of those let me know if you guys use this if you like it if you like the brand um, I'm still deciding whether to keep it or not maybe I'll I'll try to do a giveaway I don't know I, I don't even know how to go about choosing who could win it I know it's gonna it should go to one of my subscribers but I'm not sure if there's a program to choose it maybe just do a live stream really quick so I can see who who's joined in again I haven't used the mustache wax yet still has the plastic on it but I do hear it is a good brand so if you use this if you ever have used uh, Kingsman Beer Club products, let me know. Let me know how it is. I'll probably try to do something attainable for my channel. I think I'm at one. I had 364 subscribers now, so I'm probably like around 500 subscribers. I'll give it away. Uh, so yeah, hit the subscribe button. I don't know how I should do it. Maybe two winners, one one of each or do one at a time or give both of give both of them away um let me know what you guys think about that also with uh shipping overseas uh, i heard that's kind of difficult to do so yeah let me get you guys' in, uh input and then when i hit 500 subscribers i'll go ahead and give this away uh right now i'm still applying minoxidil twice a day uh in the morning it's about two to three hours I leave it on I, I can't go to that fourth hour anymore because it's I just don't like having minoxidil on at work and then washing off my face and then moisturizing is just a hassle so in the morning's about two to three hours and then at night uh, at night I put it on before bed and yeah put it on before bed and just have it on the whole night but if you are putting minoxidil on before before bed if you're a stomach sleeper like me make sure it's dried so it doesn't get all over your pillows i saw some comments on um one of my videos that um you know about how to how i apply minoxidil i'll probably i'll probably go ahead and post another video of me applying minoxidil uh shaping shaping my beard brushing it Pretty much my my routine on what I do for the day you know so yeah I'll put that up in a video so you know just try to get those questions out of the way all right so that's enough talk here's the week 17 and 18 timeline
again thanks everybody for the support been getting a lot of positive comments I got I've been getting a lot of negative comments too but I think they're all just haters but the positivity but the positive comments outweighs the negative comments so I'm I'm really good with that but again uh, let me let me know how I should do this raffle guys um, uh, I do try to read the comments as much as possible I do try to answer these comments answer questions and, co and comments as much as possible it's just that get so busy with work and everything else uh next video i'll probably go ahead and go ahead and try to find a picture uh that's similar to how my face is trimmed out uh now so i could go ahead and try to compare see if there is any difference because it's it's kind of hard to tell because you know we look at our face every single day so um yeah it's it's just really hard to tell right now I'll go ahead and just try to go and put up a routine how uh, how I apply my uh, how I apply minoxidil moisturize my face style my hair uh, yeah brush my beard all this YouTube stuff is new to me but I'm trying to keep up so uh, bear with me uh, everything everything is just moving so fast work um, this wedding coming up so yeah, YouTube, it's uh, it's really, really takes a toll. Somebody asked me why, why do I have to edit my my YouTube videos? Uh, I'm not that great in front of camera, as you can see. I I was trying to vlog my my haircut, my haircut and my beard trim, but totally forgot about that. I tend to stutter a lot. I, you know, I I just. I, I have to gather myself before I could speak in front of the, the camera so I do a lot of editing because it's just I just lose my train of thought of when I'm talking and I just tend to repeat myself over and over again but thanks again guys for watching uh, thanks for the support um, yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe peace out guys